Well, this feels familiar. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. I am now Aquaman. Imagine that said Link <laughs> Link's got real ass superpowers. And all he did was sleep. It feels really good to come back to this game. Welcome everyone. I've just decided to play through Breath of the Wild since Tears of the Kingdom is just a few months until it comes out. Tears of the Kingdom is the long-awaited sequel to this game. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. First thing in the morning, look at your new iPhone. Funny thing is, first time I played through this game, I had no idea you can, you could even get clothes. So I fought the first boss with with no clothes on. And when I looked at other people's playthroughs of this game, I'm like, where did you find clothes even? They, they were just here. And here we have big reveal. This world is so big. <laughs> Where do I go now? Well, it's pretty obvious you should go to him. Hello there, old man. Oh, we met. Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in this part. Parts, who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. Yeah, thanks. You look, you look pretty old and... Well, everyone knows who you are already. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? <laughs> Answering question with a question. That's fair enough. I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence. I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. I have it. And there's the Temple of Time. That temple there, long, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Well, I believe it was out of order long before then. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Well, I'm gonna take your torch. <laughs> I'm gonna grab your axe, old man. And then I'm gonna go shop down some trees. Cutting down some trees. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab some firewood. I do believe there are some baddies about uh, around here. Huh? Oh. Voices in my head. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. All right, all right, chill. Oh, the chic is late. Where well, I'm a lumberjack. I don't want to. What? 
smack. No, I'm gonna grab your weapon. What is this? Did you drop anything? I'll tell you already, I'm not a speedrunner. <laughs> no speedrunner at all. This is a very familiar place. For anyone who has played the Ocarina of Time, uh, or the... Uh, if anyone has played Ocarina of Time, this is a very special place from that game. At least, it does appear. Not that special, it, it's in a cutscene from that game, and I'm... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The actual Hylian trousers. Thank you. I'll take those. You have a bow? I'm gonna grab that bow. You have an actual sword. Nice. Very nice. Hey, <laughs> mine. Can I just farm arrows from you? Ugh. That's your tooth. Tooth? Uh, please tell me I can just farm them. God oh, damn it. Well, I would say I, I am well on my way. To... To... I don't know. Thingies. Place to see. She gets laid in the pedestal. Will pleasure. Cheeky tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. What are these even made of? And I died. And all you needed was to activate one tower. <laughs> and every other tower appears. That's Fort Latino. There are two other towers close to me. There we go. Regional map extracted. I still have no idea how they came up with that. There she is. You have been asleep. For the past 100 years. Oh. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Uh. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Well, thanks for the wake-up call. Yay! 
And now what? Oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to go down. Those are clogged, kinda. Whoa. Whoa. Link, you fall too fast. You have way, way too much on you. Whoa. Okay, this is actually fine. Hmm? Old man. Very agile, mobile old man. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. I am the power. <laughs> I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say. Did you happen to rec recognize this voice? Yeah. No idea. It seems you have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. Hey, okay. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its way. For a century, a very, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength. For the moment that it will unleash its blight upon the land once again, it would appear that moment is fast approaching. I love the eagle that's just stuck in the air, <laughs> back in there, back up in the sky. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we have surround are surrounded by all sides, on all sides by steep cliffs. Well, that's really inconvenient, if you ask me. If you try to jump, well, know that it would be more certain or more foolish. Darn it. If you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. Paraglider? Oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes. I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Just like that eagle. Why or not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider. But not for nothing. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Now I want both treasure and glider. Sorry, old man, I'm gonna have to double cross you. Come, let me show you something. I... I think I know what you are going to show me. I'll beat you to it. I hope. I'm gonna go to the Omen R Shrine and activate. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this. The only thing that happens is that the door opens. Just... Is this the treasure, old man? X. Or ruby. Very nice ruby. Bye. I think was a, I was actually uh, supposed to talk to him when he went up the hill. And he was pointing out the shrine. Well, I, I played this game before. I know how it goes. I think everybody knows how this game goes. It's six years old by now. This is where you get the magnesis. Well, at least it should be. I love it how the runes is like knowledge. I have absorbed liquid knowledge in my iPhone. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Also, I forgot if I had uh, 
motion controls for this game? I'm not sure I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. Whee! You can actually kill yourself with that. <laughs> oh, please help. You are very, very likely to drown, even in that little pond. <laughs> We Whoa. This thing is real heavy. Whoa. <laughs> don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you over the head with a giant cube. That actually worked really well. Can I get stuff? Ancient spring. And ancient screw. I have a feeling I might need this thing. <laughs> I love how you can just slam it. And it's really, really quick. Love that jingle. It never gets old. And here we have Gollum. I need your spirit orb. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman O. Just like the name of the shrine, the creator of this trial. I am hum a humble monk, blessed with this sight. God is highly and dedicated to helping those who would seek to destroy Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I allow, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. Well, I am going to need it, so thank you. Link kind of looked like he was going to throw up. There he goes. Smile upon you. And then he disappears. Bye. He lives in me now. <laughs> I've got one shrine and one spirit orb. And I only have three hearts. Old man. Hello. Seems you managed to get your hands up on a spirit orb. Well done. <laughs> Paraglider, please. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. <laughs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. It's all connected to that Chica slate you carry upon your hip there. Paraglider, please! <laughs> I have yet to finish speaking. I'm not listening to you, old man. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as Shika inhabited these lands. And now they're all dead. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it's said. Well, clearly not. They just hid the technology, apparently. And I found it. It's all mine now. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places, uh, all across this land. Well, it's not its not like it. there's going to be like 120, only three more. <laughs> but only on this plateau. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't a deal. Oh, well I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Old man, you're a dick. It's always best to serve 
survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. I'm going to make your way to the top of that tower again. Uh, got it. In my eagerness. But allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Chica slate. See the, those blue icons? You, sh you should recognize the cave where you walked. The shrine you came from and the tower. Hmm? You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Chica slate. I have to say this is a really well thought out tutorial. Well, back on Great Soul Tower. Oh, I'm getting reduced to atoms. Uh, how do you get here? I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you... <laughs> oh, even old man... His secrets. Now then. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as an vantage point to search for shrines. Well, I see one already. I see one, two... Two. I completely forget. No, three. I see all three. Thank you, old man. Yes, yeah, I know. I got it. Check. Yeah. Check. And... Old man, go out of my way. And check. Well, oh, I forgot that I don't have a glider. <laughs> Whoops. That's where I died. R.I.P. You're not one of the ones who's gonna wake up, are you? I can search you. Oh, I can get the materials from you. I forgot. Hot footed frog. I'm gonna cook you in a stew. Oh, yeah, you do wake up. God damn it. Well, I uh, don't. I can't do anything to you right now. Well, I kinda can. But against you, but wouldn't be such a good idea. Oh, and all you <laughs> wake. Do I actually have to have one of you blow this thing up? No, I can just climb over. I'm gonna sh search this thing at light speed. Nintendo Switch shirt. <laughs> expansion pass bonus. Oh yeah, because I have the expansion pass. Whoop. Actually, I'm gonna grab this one. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> I think this is where the remote bombs are. Remote bombs. Only can be detonated remotely. I don't think there's a single Zelda game where there aren't bombs. I probably shouldn't have used the... Oh yeah, this is another thing they are on the bombs so I can use, use them a lot more often than you think. Ooh, a claymore. I think I'll use this. That was a miss.
Whoop. Ow. Blew up in my face. Oh, do I have something to eat? Yeah, I do. Yum, yum, yum. And then you do this, or not. That was close. Perfectly timed. Bam. And then I have no idea how to even do this. Do I stand here? Will I die? Oh yeah, I don't have... I don't have the glider. Nice, nice, Amber. We need that. Whoa! I got no momentum forward. Wee! I think I'll need this for a door. Not quite sure which one. Oh, I'm gonna yield it over. Does it fit? I don't think it fits. Oh, but there's a very, very convenient little... Ugh. There we go. Perfect. Yes, perfect. There's something behind you? Where can I put this? Oh well, I guess I'll just have to look. Well, I couldn't find it anywhere it would. It would be useful. So we're just gonna grab the third orb. These remote bombs are really, really freaking broken. <laughs> they, like, two-shot most enemies. Well, most enemies, most weaker enemies, at least. And it also knocks them away, so you can make them fall off cliffs. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's really, really good against these things. So you don't have to waste sharpness. Sharpness, yeah. Uh, well, you don't have to waste anything. Yeah, you got your arm. I hear crickets. Is my playthrough already this boring? Is this the old man's house? The old man's diary, nice! On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. Well... Hmm. Didn't learn that much from that. However... A pot blade! <laughs> Great shield. Love it. Fire arrows. Now I'm just gonna have to climb this thing. Well, it's gonna take some time. I'm gonna have to make this. Ah, oh, it's fine. I can definitely make this. Here we go. That took way longer than it needed to. The Uadem Shrine. Right, Uadem. I'm coming for you. I don't like how my... My book arm is trying to grab my leg. It's almost trying to grab my ass.
Liquid knowledge. Can move even the largest of objects. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. I love how there's kind of science in all of this, even though it's... Oh yeah, I have to stop this thing. Really nice. Oh, it recharges! Run oh, no. I forgot to recharge time. Well, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Kind of worse, though. Sledgehammer. A traveler's shield. Oh, it's this shield. Yeah, this one. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna yeet itself. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a light speed. I'm gonna need your spirit orb. Okay, so that's three. One more to go. Okay, where even is it? It's all the way up there. Terrific. Yes! I can cook things, I think. Let's see. Hold one of them. Two of them. And I don't know. One of them. What if I cook this thing? Four minutes cooled duration. I'm gonna have to eat that right now. Gives me plus five hearts as well. Another two minutes. Very nice. Yeah, now I wouldn't even have to use this one. More wood. And now I can just run along all the way up to that shrine. And even more climbing. The Kef Namu Shrine. Ah, <sighs> thank God I'm here. This took way, way too long. And cold resistance running out in 18 seconds. Not sure how useful this thing really is. I mean, it is one of the one of the only things you can use in some shrines to even be able to get through. It's pretty vital in, in those scenarios. Nice little jingle. Yeah, and this thing has almost no cooldown. Ah. No, no. Ouch. Can I just... Can I just make it so that you can't follow me? Ah, bye. Oh, uh... Damn it. One way or another. Yeah. <gasps> I want that. I can get that. Ow. Freaking American Sniper. And a Traveler Spear, and that's it. Well, no thanks. 
If I eat, I'm gonna have to eat something. That's not what you eat. Yeah, that's where I that's where I started. It, it kinda it looks like in, it's inviting you to try to explore that part. Even though you have no use for it. These are like the tutorial shrines. They're not supposed to have any secrets in them. They're just to show that the shrines have secrets. And the secret of this shrine was a tiny chest so you could have one one traveler spear. All right, old man, I did your challenge. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. So there are literally no other shrines. Extraordinary. Thank you. That means it is finally time. I think it's finally time time for me to tell you everything. How do you even know my name? But first, imagine an X on your map with where the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? For two lines connecting the shrines with the cross, there I will be waiting. Well, you just disappeared. And now I'm gonna have to... <laughs> yeah, I... I drowned. Yeah. Uh, X is well here, and... It's just at the temple. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, this is the thing. I'm gonna go, and... we Nailed it. Hello. You're not Hestu. No, I'm not. And I got a pile of shit from you, thank you. Well... I'm gonna pray. Pray for Goddess Hylia. Which, isn't Zelda just Hylia but reincarnated? Or at least she's kind of... Well, she's descended. From the reincarnation. I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. I have. And I want more hearts. Yes. Heart container for me. Your life force has been strengthened. Increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Nice. Go and be increased to high Reese. Peace to Hyru. I can't speak. Old man, what are you doing? Here I am. Get up here quickly. Well, y y I know you have the power to instant transmission now, so why would you even need a hang glider? Or paraglider? Or whatever. Whatever glider. <laughs> All right, old man, where did you go? There you are. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's time for you. Where is my paraglider? Well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. All right. A kingdom which no longer exists. I am your father. <laughs> no. What a cliche that would have been. 
The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends, oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. This is really, really dark. Control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Turn them against us. The Champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule. This is some dark stuff. Even for a Zelda game. Princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. I can't get over the Nintendo Switch shirt. You valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, 
as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle. She calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here is the paraglider, just as I promised. Thank you, finally. It's like the mode of transportation for this entire game. Aside from riding a horse. With that, you should be able to safely fly off, off the cliffs of the surrounding area. As long as you have stamina. And I think that's it. I told you everything I can. Respect your elders, people. Even in their death, they can teach you everything and more than you know. Destroy Ganon. Or sink out Impa. I'm gonna grab this chest. A soldier bow. <laughs> well, I'm gonna eat one of these bows out. Specifically that one. Now we're talking. Oh. Yeah, now I can glide. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.